listen to me the decision to contact genuine authentic spiritual power to the degree that empowers you to represent the purposes of the kingdom without shame is a decision you must make in your life acts chapter 10 and verse 38 how god anointed jesus of nazareth not just that he was anointed look at the extent to which god anointed him he went about under the influence of that anointing the bible declares doing good and healing all they that were oppressed of the devil believe me when i tell you the anointing truly makes you a blessing the capacity to provide supernatural solutions to the lives and the destinies of men the ability from the spirit to dislodge the powers of darkness to ward off the arsenals of hell the ability to take advantage of the grace and the supply of the spirit and move destinies forward is a worthy decision it takes more than just quoting scripture it takes more than just having head theological knowledge listen to me dear brothers and sisters it takes even more than just a decision to go forward there must be an engracing of the spirit a smearing of that oil from heaven that can come upon a man and distinguish you turning you not just to a worker of miracles but to a sign and a wonder yourself he says i am the children that the lord has given me we are for signs and even for wonders in israel i'm glad that i made this decision many years ago and i thank the lord god of heaven for the staying power to push and endure it still remains a pursuit but today i look back and i'm humbled and even broken that God granted me the grace to stay and contend for spiritual empowerment be ready for empty pews if there is no genuine anointing be ready for an empty life if there is no genuine anointing there is a hungry world that is desperate to see Jesus revealed to see Jesus manifested more than just the communication of the talk of men problems are real challenges are real and most of them are beyond the realm of intellect they are beyond the realm of science it is his divine power that gives us all things the giver is his divine power oh god has called me to walk in the healing ministry i beg you in the name of jesus and i beseech you stay until you contend for grace that is genuine that can really truly heal the sick tomorrow several thousands of people will be here on this ground several thousands others will be connecting around the world hoping and trusting that god will come through for them we can make our boast in the lord and say come god will heal you come god will deliver you but will it really happen to them someone right now is depending not just on jesus christ alone but depending on your level of contention for grace for their mirror you literally have the power to make someone's challenge one day left and it's gone he says to appoint unto them that mourn you can set a date for their liberty what greater expression of love and kindness is more than that god is god is calling you into the ministry of wealth and abundance more than just your knowledge and sense of finances and business do you really have the grace that empowers people i became a spiritual archaeologist i took my bible and i sat down and i said oh god of heaven please do not send me with just a salmon my world needs more than a salmon do not send me with just a good heart my world needs more than a sincere heart do not send me with more than just a kind heart the world needs more than character the world needs more than a sincere heart there must be an investment of the spirit power from on high genuine power that
comes upon a life and lifts you to a level where your life becomes a sign and a wonder where when people behold you they begin to rejoice because they know when they met Jesus they were happy they knew their predicaments had come to an end I continue to pray and challenge myself by the Spirit that God will help me to rise to that level in the spirit where as I stand and I look at people's situation I can rejoice and cry with them and say I know that an end has come every time they met Jesus they rejoiced if you were the widow at Nain and you were on your way to go and bury your last child if you saw Jesus he represented hope this is my pursuit so while you clap for me and say apostle thank you for what you are doing my mind is stayed on that target lord we must get to a point where we heal nations in a day we must get to a point where we bring continents and territories to their knees for jesus in one day we must be able to dislodge the powers that sit not just over families but over territories bring down these horns in one day there is a dimension of grace that can supply that result until we are there we are not yet there This is my motivation I don't listen to the uploads of men for too long thank you thank you for this and that's it we had the miracle service in Abuja and I mean I cannot begin to tell you the tremendous testimonies not just there online the mighty testimonies And when I went back after rolling before God to tell him thank you I said father thank you I am grateful but I'm not satisfied there was still one person in that auditorium who was not healed there was still one destiny that was still left because of that one person I forget the things that are behind don't just say I prayed five people were healed out of how many people were delivered out of how many that your life will be such a blessing you're showing up it's like the coming of the of his majesty himself the lifting up your voice is like the opening of the gates of men's destinies brothers and sisters until we get there as a ministry and as individuals let us not be complacent with what God is doing thank God for what God is doing with koinonia all around the world but do not fall into the seduction of greatness the enemy of best is better better looks very comfortable but we must keep pressing with everything with everything we will shout for your glory with everything with everything we will shine for your grace with everything with everything we will shout for your glory that ye are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses the bible declares it says let us lay aside every weight and the sin that doth easily beset us then it says that we run with perseverance the race that is set before us looking unto jesus the bible declares who is the author and the finisher of our faith who for the joy that was set before him the bible says he endured the cross and despised the shame prayer point number one father my life must count I obtain grace grace from heaven lift your voice and pray 
I make a decision that my life must come as far as kingdom come is concerned my life must come Make sure you are praying. You are brooding over every darkness. You are causing lights to shine from. Praise the Lord. Deuteronomy 30, 19. I set before you life and death. You're going to open your mouth right now and choose life. Choose life means choose prosperity. Choose life means choose longevity. Choose life means choose greatness. Choose life means choose a destiny of impact. Lift up your voice and pray. Declare, declare by the Spirit of God. I shake off every limitation, cultural limitations, tribal limitations, territorial limitations, in the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God. I make decisions that are pro-life. I make decisions that are pro-greatness. I make decisions that are pro-spirituality. I decide to walk in wisdom. I decide to be valued. 
listen our time is up but i want you to turn listen to me please turn this song into a prayer the holy ghost is called a helper i have many things to tell you he said but he cannot bear them now how be it when he the spirit of truth is come he will guide you into all truth the helper lift your voice and declare your need for his ministry afresh the ministry of signs and of wonders the ministry of genuine spiritual empowerment Vì say anh thường hãy nhắc về em mong khỏa lấp những u tối khoảnh khắc về đêm nghe lại bài ca ngày xưa cũ ta hát về nhau nhớ những giấc mơ ta từng ước to tát về sau và đó là khi mà anh dần lụy là không làm chủ chính mình thấy không gian trở nên tồi tệ mọi thứ bao phủ chính mình em đâu còn như điều anh mơ anh cũng tự nhủ chính mình nhưng mà thôi em nào ai giỏi mà đủ tính tình chẳng thể vươn tới được cảnh cao dù anh có nhã ý trèo trong cơn say mọi thứ cuồng quay anh trở thành gã trí phèo yêu chân thành là không thay lòng dù em có như thị nở ý anh là em như cô tấm nhìn em như thị nở đêm vắng nàng ngón tay xám vàng vì đốt cả bao thuốc lá căn phòng chung ký xưa nồng ấm bây giờ sao bút giá một thói xấu mà anh đã quen khi em không ở bên lâu anh thường ngồi trong một góc tối nhậu suốt cả đêm thâu em mang con tim anh đi đâu khiến anh mù quáng vẫn cô sáng mỗi khi đau em mang con tim anh đi đâu điều gì cho vắng để xứng đáng ướt mi nhau Em mang con tim anh đi đâu Khiến anh mù quáng vẫn cô giáng mỗi khi đau Em mang con tim anh đi đâu Điều gì trong vắng để xứng đáng ướt mi nhau Đêm thâu anh đâu muốn nỗi buồn cứ dậy thêm đâu Tên nhau anh cố gắng không nhớ để mà quên đau Đào sâu trong ngàn điều muốn nói nhưng chẳng nên câu Bao lâu để tổn thương phai mở đi những vết xấu Vì sao thiếu em đời tôi như bài văn thiếu ý Vì sao chỉ biết yêu thôi chẳng hiểu gì dại khờ Khi con tim cần người không phải người cần dại khờ Dẫn thân mãi để kiếm trời dưới đất Vội vàng mang ưu tư vào nhạc cất Vội vàng tôi muốn tắt nắng đi cho màu đừng nhạt mất Tương tư chiều cuốn cuộc đời theo hướng mặt trời xa đi Tương tư chiều mà kỷ niệm ôi còn gọi ta chi Biển tình dù bao la nhưng mặn chắc đắng Và biển anh không xứng là biển xanh Nhưng anh muốn em là bờ cát trắng Yêu yêu là xuống cả địa ngục Vì đã chót tim như là xuân rượu Yêu là chết ở trong lòng một ít the Lord. Now, just a moment, together as a family of faith here and following across the world, I'd like us to pray for the miracle service tomorrow. Father, thousands are coming here and connecting online, trusting to see your outstretched arm. We agree with you. May your power come. May your grace be made manifest in the midst of God's people. Lift your voice and pray. Let's pray as a family of faith. Following from every nation, pray. The hearing of faith. The working of miracles. By the Spirit of grace. Hallelujah. 
praise the name of the lord now please listen let me challenge you make sure you do not come alone make sure that you don't just invite people but trust god to invite people who you know have real issues trusting god for grace for those who will not be able to make it you can do well to collect their prayer requests and let's come tomorrow and trust god for grace to move in power and solve problems it's not just the name of a program that happens the last week of the month god ordained this as a prophetic platform to be able to reach the nations and to be a blessing so do well to be part of it and let me encourage you avoid loitering around and just wasting time sit down and think through these things it says now that you know these things happy are you if you do them this is a charge tonight that calls for action you should go back settle down rest a while and then open your notebook and begin to write some things if at the end of tonight's talk you don't write anything then you really did not profit praise the name of the lord once again i truly want to honor reverend tende and his entire team thank you sir thank you we do not take for granted your love hallelujah praise the lord let's share the grace the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of god the sweet fellowship of the holy spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore amen god bless you see you tomorrow by five we believe you are mightily blessed to connect with the ministry and get more from apostle joshua selman follow us on facebook and twitter at koinonia Vienna to stream koinonia live go to mixella.com forward slash koinonia hyphen radio and download the teachings on koinoniadownloads.org for questions and inquiries call 0814-721-4444 or 0907-777-7853 we love and celebrate you Smile on
Thank you. 